Hey guys, this is Tiamat Ruler back with another episode of my Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Hex Lock. And I'm just going to talk to everybody in here. He gave me a great ball. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing this episode. Um, I'm just going to kind of go around and do stuff. But... Um, other than that, I have no idea what I need to do. Found a nest ball. Okay, more poke balls to try and catch, uh... Huh, what's that, I wonder? Uh, those these look like Palkia and Dialga. Okay. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to be... It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's going to be? Are, are you going to mess with me? Yes. You dare to oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. Know the universe, even. Huh. Okay, as we get a Hound Hour, I do not want Pride to be in there. Switch out into Gluttony. I know Gluttony's getting kind of overleveled, but compared to the others... But, uh, yes, I will switch for, oh, I guess it's Wrath that's really overleveled. No, I'm not going to switch for Golbat then. Ice Fang. Golbat is dead. Too much to handle. I can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll be, happ I'll be happily rid of this place. Oh, you were magnificent, magnificent. Aren't you quite the drainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Tiam Oops. This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity is said to have created Sinnoh. The old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Okay, are there Pokemon I can catch in here? The cave's painting... The cave painting's meaningless... Meaning seems to be this. There existed beings, being so powerful they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match either being. The, th the three kept balance with either being as if they formed a pyramid. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I would be like to know more about... Uh, I would like to know more about the le that legend, if you will. Who might, who might you be? Ah, uh, Cyrus, okay. My name is Cyrus. I went to put an end to pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you to answer... The world totally today can't change because the three Pokemon keep it in balance. Is that what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You failed to appreciate that the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of a new world shall take its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Coronet. Why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Oh god, I didn't heal. Fuck. Fuck. Get the fuck out of there. Uh, yeah. Why did I not use Fock? Goodbye. Electabuzz? Let's sound out Tay. I'm cool with using Tay. Um. I don't really want to be locked into a move, but. Ah, uh, he's not going to do, like, anything to me. Minin. Okay, for Minin, let's switch because Tay is paralyzed now. Let's switch back into Pride. Fake out. 
Um, let's use cut. That didn't do anything to me, you jerk. Oh, we defeated him. Okay. All electric types. I see what it was. Remarkable. But, Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with the memories and thoughts of countless people and Pokémon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh, yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. If a Pokémon learns surf, it can carry you across water and the sea. You've been a great help. That's my thanks for it. Are there any, like, items on any of these rocks? I, uh, guess not. Was there, oh, whoops, sorry, I kind of, uh, changed screens there real quick. Was everything all right here? You saw those strange people with a galactic bomb, didn't you? But those Team Galactic people, I thought they were harmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe. I thought it was just silly talk, nothing to take seriously. But they're per surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there's a library in Canalave City. It's stocked with ancient books. You can look up Sinnoh history there. It might help you complete your Pokedex, too. The quickest way to Canalave City is to go west from Jubilife City. Okay, ma'am. Just kind of checking to see if there's any... Oh, we got a Babiri Berry. Was there anything up here, too? Nah. I knew they wouldn't put that there without, like, adding some uh, hidden item or something. Um, I'm going to go into my bag real quick. And go into my TMs, go all the way down. I'm pretty sure fly I can't use on anybody. Yeah, nobody's able to learn fly. Whoa, no, no, surf. Okay, so I can teach surf to three different Pokemon. It's not going to be Pride because Pride already has two HMs that he has that she has to deal with. Um, Gluttony, obviously, it's a water Pokemon, so it's going to be Stab, but Wrath, it would give something different. So, I'm going to leave this choice up to you. It's going to be kind of an extra question. Which Pokemon should I teach Surf? I might decide by the end of the episode if I absolutely need it, but... I'm going to see if you guys will interact and stuff like that. I'm trying to go in this house. I must bear down and train, and for that, time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. The analog watch? Okay. Um, what do you say? There's no Pokemon in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in this house here. Really? Well, talk to me. Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks, too. Deep, man. So, would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? Ah, black glasses. I think those are the second black glasses I have now. Um... Do I need anything... Not really. Do I have anything I can sell? Not really. You know what? I'm going to buy, go ahead and buy like 20 more hyper potions just because I can afford it. And then I don't have to. 
and then I'm gonna buy no yeah 29 more full heals so I'm up to 40 of each of those what is this place where are you from Hmm, Twin Leaf Town, you say? Isn't that close to Lake Verity? The lake is said to be home to Mesprit, the being of emotion. A Pokemon may well be watching over you. Would you like to know more about this, about Mesprit? Mesprit is a legendary Pokemon that symbolizes the emotions. Besides it, beside it are also Uxie, the being of knowledge, and Azelf, the being of willpower. These three Pokemon are said to have strong and compassionate spirits. The power of their spirits maintains the natural balance of Sinnoh. Using the move Surf, you'll be able to go to places that were inaccessible. You'd be surprised where you can go. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myths. Were, off, were things different back then, or were they the same as now? She says that's the focus of her research. Uh, I don't know if that was a boy or a girl. It looks like a girl to me. What the fuck is this on the table? probably an invaluable scroll that doesn't look like a oh it's probably talking about the thing on the wall what's this it's an old book when pokemon was when that pokemon was born intelligence bloomed among us enriching our lives when that pokemon was born emotions bloomed among us giving us joy and sorrow when that pokemon was born willpower bloomed among us spurring us into action huh howdy things up on local hist stuff howdy studying up on local ah okay look that makes sense Local history. Howdy. Mount Coronet towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's l the closest place to the sky and to space in this region. Top. If I climb on top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Probably not, kiddo. Probably not. I would highly doubt that. We're going to heal real quick because we had that big battle. And we're also going to, whoa. Take that off of Wrath. And we're gonna give it to our lowest level because that, that's what we should be doing. Oh, I didn't even check here for things I could have sold, whoops. Okay, so I know we can like go this way now. Route 211. I think this is a new route. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Looks like a new route to me. Because I know I came from the other way. It's going to suck not having a Pokemon that can fly. I might have to catch a Pokemon for, to fly just for flying. Oh, our first Pokemon in this route is... Ooh, a Steelix. Um, hold on one second. Because I know that, um, sorry about that. I know Steelix would be good to round out my party for types because I don't have a ground and I don't have a steel type at all. Um, and it would give me extra stuff, uh, like another Pokemon to go against fire types. Um, since I have three Pokemon weak against those. Well, sort of, because it would have like Earthquake. I know that that's one thing. Steel, I don't know if I want because I already have three types weak against fire types. But, um, 
what I was kind of hoping for was something that could fly but isn't flying type. Something like um, Flygon. I mean, I know I probably won't get lucky and find Flygon specifically, but if I can find something that can fly that isn't flying type, that would be perfect. Um, just because I need a flying po Pokemon. Um, let me see if I can find someone else to talk to. Um, message. Okay. I'm I'm just trying to find someone out who someone else who can help me figure this out just because I'm uh I'm bad with figuring this kind of stuff out so I apologize for holding you guys putting you guys off well not putting you guys off I don't know how to wear it for kind of pausing the game for a minute because I don't know what to do um, whoops, sorry for my mouse. Um, but I guess first of all, we're gonna switch into probably Pride here. Oh god, Sandstorm, really? Fake out. Um... I'm gonna go for Rock Smash. Okay, now I'm kind of worried. Um, nobody is responding. I know Steelix is really good. Like, it can, it can be really good. The issue is that if I catch Steelix as my Pokemon... I will not be able to fly anywhere unless I catch a fly bitch. Um, and that's not really want I, what I want. So since I can't get anybody to answer, I'm going to go ahead and say no um, just because of that. Because, I mean, if someone else answers, I'll get an answer later, but, I mean... Oh my god, Outrage. Oh my god, there's no moves I want to forget, though. I can't forget Cut or Rock Smash. Crunch is a really nice move. Outrage is very risky. Outrage is very risky. I already have two Pokemon with... Yeah, I'm not going to learn Outrage. Sorry if you wanted me to learn Outrage, but... Uh... I'm sorry if you wanted me to catch Steelix. I was just uh, trying to figure out the best bet for that. Um... Ha! Ha! I'm psyched for this! Here goes! Gunk. Uproar. Goodbye. Goodbye, Meditite. Ooh, my choke. I'm going to try to keep battling here. Oh, Vital Throw did nothing. Um... There we go. What was the point of this little cut tree here? I, I don't get it. Okay, there's... Oh, well, well, there's a trainer there. A Skaroopy. Um, Ancient Power. Fuck no. Uproar. Okay, we're gonna go battle this guy. And of course he sees us before we get through, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and try to Night Slash it. Ah, oh, don't. Don't do this. Don't, thank you.
Thank you. Ronzor. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch into Gluttony here. Because I can just go ahead and bite it. I thought Gluttony was overleveled, but it's not. Dive? It learns dive automatically? It's weird. I don't like two turn attacks. Nah. Stop confusing me. Thank you. Okay. Let's battle this Noctowl lady. Or man, or whatever. Um... I do not really want to be in here. Icy Wind. Air Slash. That's not going to do really anything to me. Freak. Um, no, we're not going to learn. Wait, no. What does Faint do? 30? Oh, fuck that shit. Why are you learning Faint at like level 30 something? That's gay. Um, looks like there's one more trainer down here. Oh. I didn't read his dialogue. Whoops. can't push boulders yet that is quite annoying at the moment but what is in here I can't do anything because I don't have strength but I can oh my god a Kyogre too bad I already have a fucking water type damn it oh I might already uh... I don't know it's level 14 that's kind of weird I don't know if I would have wanted to catch it anyway. Space. Oh my god. What useless junk. Just kind of see. I don't know if you get wild battles for. Ah, uh, mine and get away. Or plus whatever the fuck it was. It's a mine and. Okay. Go away, mine and. Does this thing have anything on it? Ooh, a bright powder. Okay. So, we didn't get anything from there. Ooh, a golem would have been interesting, too. I'm just kind of seeing what, what there is in this route. Ooh, a parasect. What we missed out on opportunities to catch. Golem and Steelix are both Pokemon you have to trade to catch, so that's kind of cool. Sorry if you don't like me doing this. I like doing this just to see what, what was a possibility to catch. So... Ooh, a Metatite. That would have given us two different types, but I'm pretty sure Metatite can't fly. Um, I may end up having to get a second flying type, which is... Ooh, a Toxicroak, which is going to suck, but... Okay, yeah, I'm kind of done looking around here. Oh, I guess I get one more. Ooh, a Dugtrio. <laughs> I'm surprised I was able to run from that, to be honest. TBH. Okay, so now where the fuck do I go? I'm gonna heal my Pokemon just because of all that battling, but where the fuck do I go now? I mean, I have to go this way, I'm guessing. I have to go back. I already battled him, right? Already got the berries up there. Can't go up. Is there anything down here? Okay, so I already went down there. 
Um, I'm guessing, oh, there was an item up here. Okay, I remember that. I remember that. I could, if I wanted to, come go down, go back down there and surf, I think. I think. But I couldn't, like, uh, I wouldn't be able to, um, I'd be able to surf down here. But I don't have any Pokemon with surf yet. That's Rock Climb. I don't have that yet. Ooh, a Sceptile. That would have been cool. Um, I don't know where to go at all. Another Sceptile. I know I've been through all these routes, so I know I can't. Is this where I came from? What the fuck? It's random as shit. I must have to, okay, yeah, I have to go over there to get to there. So where the fuck am I going now? Ponyta, I don't want that. A Ghastly could have been interesting. But I'm pretty sure Ghastly can't learn fly. C dot, no. I'm about to end this episode off once I get somewhere. Let me look at my guide real quick. Um, yeah, I can't use rock climb. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, okay, it's saying to do this, so I'm going to go start, sorry about the mouse, I'm going to go start doing that, but I don't remember where, oops, I don't remember where, um, is it in the bag that I have to? How do I get How do I pull up a map if I don't have fly? I know I picked up a town map. Oh, I have to probably find the town map. That's so stupid. Yeah, town map. Okay. I don't understand why they call it a town map either. Celestic Town. Oh, okay, so this is uh, Snow Point City. So I have to go. Tells me I have to go to Sand Gem Town. I haven't been there yet. Jubilife City. Turnia City. Floraroma Town. I have to go all the way back down there. Oh my god. Well, um, I will start making my progress. Actually, I will make my progress down there. And then I will go ahead and leave off this episode here. Because I'm not gonna about to go all the way down there in an episode. I'm going to, uh... I mean, I'll... I know I have to go down here... But pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it off in this town and then um, move on and then start the next episode going or after I go all the way down to Sand Gem Town. Because it's, uh, I mean, that's where it says I need to go next. So, um, yeah, I guess this is, 
I may have some friends who, who I should have learn surf just because I don't know who I want to learn have it learn right now. The same the question is the same as normal. Suggestions on what Pokemon should fill my fill my last po uh, Pokemon in my party the last party slot. But um, if you uh, want to tell me which Pokemon you want me to teach surf, if I already have, I'm sorry, but you can go ahead and leave the suggestion for that down there too. Um, but um, yeah, if you like the video, leave a like, and if you're a first time viewer, please subscribe, guys. Uh, this is Team Matt Ruler signing out. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.